Okay, so this time I'm going to discuss the the steps or the solutions on finding the mean, the median, and the mode for a set of group data. Okay, finding for the mean using the class mark formula. By the way, if we say group data, we are referring to the set of data that are grouped through categories or class intervals. So the identity of each measurement in this group data is lost, okay? Because we treat them as a group, not as an individual, unlike in the ungrouped data. So finding for the mean using the class mark formula, we have X bar is the sample mean, is equal to the summation of the product of F sub I and X sub M, where I ranges from one to K all over N, where X is the score or measurement, F is the frequency, X sub M is the class mark or midpoint, N is the total frequency, and K is the total number of classes, okay? So these are the variables that we need to see or to be present in our, our given so that we can find the value or the mean for group data. Let's take example number one, table one, okay? Table one presents the distribution for the weight of 40 COVID-19 patients in ABC hospital. So remember that the table one is all about the weight of 40 COVID patients in ABC hospitals. So here we have a table with four columns. First is the class interval. First column is the first class interval. Second column is the frequency. Okay, and the third column is the class mark or the midpoint. And the fourth column is the product of the frequency and the class mark. The first, the, the class interval presents the weight of our 40 COVID-19 patients in ABC hospital. So in the first class interval, we have 118 to 126. This, this means that uh, there, are, there are patients whose weights are ranging from 118 to 126. So that is our class interval. So with our second class interval with 127 to 135, 136 to 144 for the third class interval, 145 to 153 for the fourth class interval, and 154 to 162 for the fourth, for the fifth class interval, and 163 to 171 for the sixth class interval. On the other hand, frequency presents the number of patients whose weights belong to this category or interval. So there are three patients whose weights are ranging from 118 to 126 while there are seven of them whose weights belong to 127 to 135, 10 of them belong to the categories or class intervals of 136 to 144, 12 of the patients have weights from 145 to 153, five of them have weights from 154 to 162, three of them have weights ranging from 163 to 170 weights. 71. So if we take the sum of this, it is the summation of the frequency, which is equal to 40. So 3 plus 7 is 10, plus 10, 20, plus 12 is 32, plus 5 is 37, and plus 3 is 40. Whereas in the class mark or X sub M, the class mark is the average of the upper limit and the lower limit. In the class interval, we have this one as our lower limit and this is our upper limit. So the class mark is the average of the lower limit and the upper limit, okay? So in the first class interval, the lower limit is 118 and the upper class interval or upper limit, okay? In the class mark, the first class interval has lower limit of 118 and its upper limit is 126 divided by 2 that is 122 okay so if you notice the difference notice that the difference of these class marks is constant which is 9 
So that means that if we have our first class mark here, we just add nine units here, here, here up to 167. So your nine units or nine is obtained by getting the difference of the two consecutive lower limits. So we have 127 and 118 will give us a difference of nine or 135 and 126 will give us a difference of nine also. Or we can have the class size, which is nine, as the difference of the upper limit and the lower limit plus one. The upper limit here minus the lower limit plus one. So we have nine, okay? And the last class and the last column is the product of the frequency and the class mark. So three times 122 is 366. Seven times 131 is 917. 10 times 140 is 1,400. 12 times 149 is 1,788. Five times 158 is 790. And three times 167 is 501. So that the summation of the product of the frequency and the class mark would be equal to 5,762. So we are ready to find the value of the mean of this group data. The sample mean is equal to 5,762, the total of this divided by 40, the frequency equals 144.05. This means to say that the mean weight of the 40 COVID patients in APC hospital is 144.05 pounds. Okay, 144.05 pounds. Okay, next. For the median, the median is computed by LCB plus N over 2 minus less than CF over FM times I, where your X here is the median, LCB is the lower class boundary of the median class, N is the total frequency. Less than CF is the less than cumulative frequency above the median class. And your I is the size of the class interval or the class width. F sub M is the frequency of the median class, okay? How do we get our median class? The median class is obtained by getting the half of the frequency based from our less than cumulative frequency afterwards. So I will explain further how to determine our median class. Okay, so another example for our discussion, we have a table one, the same table one, frequency distribution of, for the weight of 40 COVID patients in ABC hospital. So we add two, and add two other uh, columns here, the less than cumulative frequency and class boundary. Okay, the, the cumulative frequency less than can be obtained by considering the first frequency in the first class interval to be added to the second frequency or the, sec the frequency of the second class interval to be added to the frequency of the third class interval cumulatively. So we start from top down. So we have three here plus seven equals 10 plus 10 equals 20, plus 12 equals 32, plus five equals 37, and plus three equals 40. Make sure that the last value here or the last number here should be the number of frequency, number of frequency, the total number of frequency. This is the first frequency in the frequency column, okay? So the class boundary, is obtained by subtracting half unit to the lower limit and another uh, or add half unit to the upper limit. So that is our class boundary. So from 118, it became 117.5. From 126, it became 126.5. So we deduct half unit to the lower limit and we add half unit to the upper limit for our class boundary referring to the class interval, okay? Now, how do we determine our median class? The median class is the class interval containing half 
of the frequency or half of the, the total number of frequency that is found in the less than cumulative frequency. So in this case, there are 40 number of, there are 40 patients in the hospital. So half of that is 20 and the, uh, the class interval containing half of 40 in the less than cumulative frequency is 136 to 144, con uh, having 20 as our less than cumulative frequency. So we call this as our median class because it contains half of the total frequency, total frequency under cumulative frequency less than, okay? So the formula in determining or finding the median value of group of data is LCB is equal to N over two minus less than CF over FM times I. Your N here must be small letter N, okay? And uh, substituting the LCB of the lower class boundary of the median class is 135 here plus 40, your total number of frequency over two minus the less than cumulative frequency above the median class is 10 here. So we have 10 there. All over the frequency of the median class, which is 10 times the class size, which is nine, okay? We have nine. So going further, we have 135.5 plus 40 over two is 20 minus 10 over 10 times nine. We have 135.5 plus 20 minus 10 is 10 over 10 times nine. We have one times nine is nine plus 135. 0.5 is 144.5. So the median, the median weight of our patients is 144.5 pounds. Whereas for the mode, we have the mode is equal to LM plus the difference of the F sub M and F sub A over two times F sub M minus F sub A minus F sub B times I, where your MO is your mode, your LM is the lower class boundary of the modal class, your FM is the frequency of the modal class, and your FA is the frequency above the modal class, and your FB is the frequency below the modal class, and your I is the size of the class interval or the class width. Again, we consider the same example, okay? So we have, okay, this one the frequency distribution for the weight of 40 COVID-19 patients in ABC hospital. So how do we determine our model class? The model class can be determined by looking into the class interval having the highest frequency. I repeat, the model class is determined by the, frequent, by the highest frequency of the class interval. So in this case, the class interval having the highest frequency is 145 to 153 with 12 patients, okay? So we already have identified our model class. We have 145 to 153. In the formula, we have X sub O or M sub O is equal to the lower limit, lower class boundary of the model class. Lower class boundary of the model class plus the difference of the, the frequency of the model class minus the frequency above the model class all over twice the frequency of the, fre of the model class minus the frequency above the model class minus the frequency below the model class times the class size. So our lowest, our lower class boundary of the model class is 144.5 plus F sub M, the, the frequency of the model class is 12. Okay, the frequency of the model class is 12. Your F sub A, the frequency above the model class is 10. Above the model class is 10. Over two times 12 
the same, minus 10 above the modular class, and below the modular class is 5, times 9 is equal to 144.5 plus 2 over 24 minus 15 times 9. And we have 144.5 plus 2 over 9 times 9. Cancel 9 here. Okay, so we have 144.5 plus 2 equals 146.5, 146.5. So the, the mode, the mode value or the model value is found between 145 to 153, which is our modal class. That is 146.5. Okay, so that's how we find our mean, median, and mode for group data in our sample, okay?